So where did you guys learn about the jester in the medieval times? I already had a good idea once Mr. Shempek said that we were going to make medieval stuff. Okay. And I think we have an obligation to really create spaces that are built around collaboration. When they graduate, need these skills. They need to be able to collaborate. We're able to start exposing them to this at an elementary level. In fifth grade this year, we, we had a project which combined art and music and computers. And we built around this idea of a medieval theme. The whole grade picks a project that they have to do and each grade does it. And then it goes um, in the art show on display and then all the parents come. I made a juggling jester. We have a ton of things happening in grades K to five. And we work our way up through cloud-based learning and robotics and programming. And instead of doing word processing and keyboarding, we're moving in a different direction and, and challenging the kids to you know, add coding to it and the idea of digital citizenship and, and things that are going to help make them a more well-rounded technology user. I learned how to build stuff and how to like more how to program. Within the Fox Trapulator School District we have such a range of learners. We have our you know, highest exceptional learners and we have a fair amount of struggling learners and everything in between. Same kind of idea with the motor and everything. When we look at project-based learning, we look at all these different initiatives that we have going on and, and really working within the collaboration across curriculum. For me and other students, if, if they wanted to go in a field with art and technology, obviously it would be a quite helpful if they wanted to make a, a robot one day just more advanced. Because if you enter a career range like involving tech or art or the combination of both, then it's definitely going to give you a hand and you could probably get a better career in um, life and f afford more things. By giving them these opportunities where they're able to collaborate and they're able to learn and they're able to have multiple experiences, when it comes time for them to graduate and go to college and, and they're able to go through and know how to work in a group and work as a team and be a leader. I worked with a partner, uh, he was okay. I was working with my wonderful partner, Rachel Nist. Um, me and her were working on a castle that we is right up front. Did it work the first time you did it? No, at first they kept touching the other side, okay. but we eventually got it. You figure it out very great success for them. I mean, you, you learn from your mistakes, you grow from your mistakes. And kids in any other school will go through that same process. At Kerr, it's nice because I have the kids from K to fifth grade. And every year we, we add a little bit more and a little bit more. And the idea is when they go to the middle school, they should be ready for anything those teachers throw at them when it comes to technology. And then also on a personal level, the idea of challenging yourself and learning to work with others is big. And, and you're going to have to do that for the rest of your life.